All right, you guys have been asking for it. Here it is. I do not have a map sensor issue. However, I will show you how to get to your map sensor and clean it out. It's located deep down in there. I'm going to pull it out and then we're going to clean it out and put it back in. And I don't know, I've got just over 16,000 miles on this truck. So I'm real curious to see what mine looks like if it's gumming up or if it's just super clean. But there's only one way to find out. First thing we want to do is remove this engine cover and that's with a little fill cap, remove. And then there's a 10 millimeter right here. Let's put that cap up pull up because there's a little tab holding on right there. Put your oil cap back on so you don't drop anything in there. We're going to set this on its side. This bolt will not come out, but there's the 10 millimeter. So now all we want to do is remove this duct and the duct from the rear because we're going to want to pull that out. So now that that's off, now I'm going to unbolt the reservoir. There's just a 10 millimeter there. I'm just going to pull it out and out of the way a little bit. Now you don't have to, but I'm going to anyway, but I'm going to remove the airbox lid. We're going to slide the red lock tab back, push down on the lock. With those loosened up and not fully removed, you can lift up on the lid and slide it back. I will remove my air filter just so I don't drop any debris inside there. Now with the surge tank moved out of the way a little bit. So we want to start by lifting in the back, pop that free. And then we want to slide it off of the turbo. Once I popped it off the back side of the turbo, we're just going to rotate this around. There is a harness it's going to snag up on. So just watch for that. And just free it up. This right here is where it was pushed in. That's what we lifted up in the back first. And this is where it just slipped into place. You're going to need to remember that when you put it back together. All right, I added some light so that way we can see a little bit better. But you can see we're going right below where that pipe was. Let me zoom in on this. All right, so that lock tab right there, that red one just slides back away from us. And then you just push down on the black tab to unlatch it, just like the mass airflow sensor connector. And that bolt right there, that's an eight millimeter bolt. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that and pull it up. All right, now that it's unbolted, unclipped, we can remove it. However, I want to voice a warning. You do not want to drop anything down into that intake manifold. Best if you blow this off with air before you pull this off, which I've already done. And now we're going to just pull it up. All right, so the O-ring is holding it back, so that's why it's taking some force. Here we go. All right, here is our map sensor. You can see just how much buildup there is inside of there. It's only got 16,000 miles, so I was really hoping that it wasn't completely plugged up, and thankfully that is the case. However, it's not clean. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it, and what we're going to do is use some electronic cleaner right there. And so we're going to spray this out, see what kind of results we get. All right, there we go. All cleaned up. Well, that's as best as I can get it. Really just spraying. You're probably better off just replacing this rather than cleaning it. And the part number is 24000017. This is off of a 24LZ0, so yours may or may not be this part number, but that's mine. Now I'm going to use some silicone uh, lubricant to go ahead and lube up the O-ring before we set it in place. All right, let's get this back into place. Push down on it to make sure it went in all the way. Let's get the eight millimeter bolt set back in. Start that by hand, snug that down. I believe the spec is 96 inch pounds. Reconnect the connector. I heard it click. Slide the lock back in place. Now reassemble your intake. Go ahead and roll this back in. And then what we're gonna do is we need to slip this in and then click this on. Go ahead and just roll this through. That's back on. Now we can go ahead and tighten that seven millimeter over there. All right, there we go, tightened by hand. So that's good and connected on there. Now we can get the rest of this on. All right, to make this a little bit easier. All right, so you wanna line up this tab with this opening right there. Put that on first. You're not fighting with anything. Verify that it's in place there. And then what we'll do is we'll set the lid on. And then you can drop this on like so, and then that will guide it into place. And that helps you not dislodge that right there. 
So now you can tighten down these eights. I recommend, I recommend you do it by hand. I'm gonna do it by electric ratchet here, but I'm gonna go slowly. All right, now we wanna reinstall our 10 millimeter bolt on the coolant reservoir. Finalize with uh, installing your engine cover. Be sure to pop this clip on, oil cap, and we've got the 10 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and fire it up. If you have any check engine lights, then go over your work. If a uh, check engine light continues and it's P0106 or related to that map sensor, go ahead and probably just replace that or go through some further diagnostics. Hopefully this helps someone that's a DIYer and they just needed a little bit of visual on it. I can't say that this is going to fix everybody's problems or anybody's problems, but this was merely to show you where the map sensor is located, how I cleaned it off, and here we go. Hopefully that helped. Till next time, see ya.